This is a miniature model of Ljubljana. It's pretty much a village with only 279,000 inhabitants. It's the smallest capital city in Europe. Castle Hill sits perched above the old town and we're here, right in the centre in Prescheren Square. We're going to show you around. We're in the heart of Ljubljana, in front of the Franciscan church on a Sunday morning. All the local churchgoers are coming out. It was built in 1646, or between 1646 and 1660, and it has an ornamental facade and picturesque trees at the front. And overlooks Prescheren Square. In Ljubljana, all roads lead to Prescheren Square. This is the main attraction, the main landmark, and this is Prescheren here. Uh, he was the national poet, national hero. He wrote the national anthem called A Toast, uh, in Slovenian, Zdravlica. Uh, he's overlooked by his muse, who is his inspiration for a lot of poems, and also gazed upon by his mistress on the other side of the square. And as you can see, there are three trees planted next to the statue. Uh, they have a specific purpose, to guard the church's view from his half-naked muse who overlooks him. We're standing on the middle bridge of Triple Bridge, sitting right by Prescheren Square as one of the main landmarks in Ljubljana. This one I'm standing on was built in 1842. The two surrounding it were built in 1931 by the most famous Slovenian architect, Jože Plečnik. This is Cobbler's Bridge over the Bianita River. Every Sunday morning there's a flea market here where you can check out old antiques and beautiful uh, local wares. Um, every evening there's live music, you can find cool buskers uh, and it's a really popular place. Robber Fountain, built in 1751, sits beside the town hall in the centre of the old town. Much of this area is pedestrianised, so you get a real feeling for the city, which is really, really peaceful. The only sound you can hear is that of church bells. Dragon Bridge, built in 1901 in Art Nouveau style. It has four of the mythical beasts on each corner, except they're all the same except one, which has a, a red tongue and red claws. Now, there's a story behind this that involves a couple of artists in the middle of the night, possibly drunk, and they uh, they decided to hijack the place and paint the. It's one of the most photographed sites in Ljubljana and one of the first that you come to as a tourist. <laughs> Where 
very good. One of the main attractions on a Saturday morning for the locals is uh, a visit to the market. Stroll around, you've got local specialities like cheese from different farms around Slovenia. Feel free to try it. Also fruit and vegetables. And over here, on my right hand side, you've got uh, bakeries and also butchers. Uh, one of which trades in local delicacy, horse meat, which is mm, a lot like beef but with a sweeter flavour. We're at Ljubljana Castle and the easiest way to get here is by Funicular. Built in 2006, it's a little bit pricey but it'll whisk you up in a minute and a half. You can then see the sides and then stroll back down one of the paths into the old town. Ljubljana Castle, built in the 16th century but with a history dating back to the 12th century BC. In the courtyard there are loads of cultural events, in the summer you've got open air cinema, in September a medieval festival with a band. A really good place to see spectacular views of the city is the top of the town. Also there you can get married here, there are a couple of wedding suites and a cafeteria over there for a coffee. It's really worth it to come. It's well worth the climb of 100 steps to get to the top of Ljubljana Castle Tower. You've got wonderful panoramic views of the old town and Prasheran Square. Also included is a, a virtual tour and virtual museum, which is a, a video historical tour of the castle. Slovenians who don't go to the countryside of the weekend flock here to Ljubljana's Green Lung. Tivoli Park stretches a vast five kilometer square of rolling hills and forests. Uh, it's the perfect place to have a stroll and unwind after lots and lots of sightseeing in Ljubljana. I'm really, really hungry, so I'm just about to try the local delicacy horse burger at one of the few places that sell it in the city, in Tivoli Park, Hot Horse. Uh, can I have three horse burgers um, uh, with everything, including pepperoni and uh, two Fanta and an iced tea? Thank you. The suspense is killing me. I've got to try it. It's a bit of a challenge. That's so different to beef. A little bit more spicy and a little bit sweeter. With the sauce, it's fantastic. <laughs> 